think I might be holding it too tight. That's why I don't fall off. <laughs> but I think if we had a deeper pot, if we had a deeper pot, then we wouldn't have to put the chocolate on there. Try that. Try that. Maybe it's that brand. Because I don't hear people complain about certain variants of chocolate. You look just like I was tweezing. <laughs>
So we can read this one, it came out better. I just think it's the, um, yeah, or either chocolate. I don't think it's necessarily that we know. Um, I seen this video, I forgot what kind of can was here, so she did But if you go like to, um, like art stores and different stuff like that, uh, party stores, they have different kinds. Yeah, they different brands. Or you go online. It's like once you dip it in the chocolate, you bring it out, it's like it, it instantly starts to crack up. That's why I said I think it's chocolate. But um, we're going to take this out, put it in the Ziploc bag, because we're going to throw the can that way. And um, we're going to melt the blue ones for drizzles, and we'll see how we come back. So we back with the blue, back in melt it. And we're going to make some drizzles. Oh, this hot is. I mean, I don't know how you want the drizzles on that. Whatever was dripping, I just trying to drizzle it on the rest of it just so we can have something on them. And then to be honest, once you put the drizzles on them, you really can't even tell how they messed up. I think everything came out okay for the most part. Even the presses, you can't really see how it was all clumpy looking once you put the drizzles on them. Alright, this is gonna be the end of our video and like I said, I think everything came out. We're gonna probably try this again. But so make sure y'all like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to tell somebody else about us. We'll see y'all later. Peace. <laughs>